Okay, this is part two, and I'm making some embellishments to go on this frame. If you've seen part one, um, I showed you how I painted and uh, altered this frame. So now I'm going to make some embellishments. And what I'm going to show you how to do is make these roses out of polymer clay. Now, as I said in the video, I used Primo Sculpty uh, White. It was white, and then I used Primo Sculpty Turquoise, okay? So to get my lighter color, I used two parts white with one part turquoise. And then, of course, I just used two parts turquoise to get the, reg the original color. Because you want that variegated um, color here, as you can see. Now, this is a... It, Trust me, I've had, I have probably created these roses here probably about six times because I would mess up and then I would start all over, mess up, start all over. So I'm going to show you what you do. Um, I'm using um, these circle cutter shapes that I got from Primo. They're the circle metal cutters. They come in a set and they have variegated sizes. So, of course, I'm using the smallest one. And... Uh, a trick that I have learned is that you um, thin out your polymer clay or you condition it uh, on the pasta machine for at four, like this. And then, um, let's see, I'm going to have to back this out because... I don't know if y'all can see everything I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And then just take some um, cellophane or uh, plastic wrap or whatever and just do this. And what that does is that just prevents this from sticking like that. And then you're going to pull this away and then you can lift these away, of course, real easy. Um, so, but this isn't the color I'm using. I've already got some uh, done. Now, you're going to want to make, now this is how I did mine. I just squeezed the, uh, of the circle, squeezed the bottom like that, and went in the palm of my hand here. I took my round tip ball here, and i done this, boom, you know, spread it out like that to make those wispy ends those ratted wispy ends like that and then I just took it and curved it just to give it a curve and again the warmth of your hand will also play a factor now you're going to get you just a piece of uh, polymer clay and you're going to fatten one side and make a cone like this okay and then you're going to start taking your your petals here and you're going to start wrapping them kind of that gives you a a base to start wrapping on and just Again, this will take practice. Trust me. I almost gave up. <laughs> Seriously, I almost did. I was like, Rrr. and as you see, I'm just wrapping them around. It's kind of like a cabbagey looking rose in a way, a vintage um, cabbage style rose. And as you see, you're going to start wrapping and building. Okay. Now I'm going to add some of the light blue to that so I'm just gonna plop that down like that just you know you just stick it onto your board there and then you're going to do the same thing you're going to make about five or six lighter color ones and this color again was made with one part turquoise two part white
gonna go back to here and I'm gonna put one like that. I'm gonna put another one right here like that and then I'm gonna put another one like that. Now I'm going to put where they're going to kind of flop the other direction, you know, again, just learning how to do all this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is squeeze the bottom here. Do you see? I'm just squeezing it like this. Watch how you squeeze it. Then I'm going to take my blade and cut it off like that. Now this one isn't completely the way I want it, but you can go back in and play with the leaves, the petals, like that. Just kind of separate them a little bit. If you want. I almost want them to look like a tattered rose. You know, like something vintage. Because that's the, the frame I've got going. So. And. Um. Please, I encourage you to look on Google. There are thousands of tutorials on polymer clay flowers. Um, again, I am no expert at this. I'm still learning. But just jumping in there and, and playing around and uh, trying this new medium, that's exciting. So... You can see I'm kind of molding it the way I want it to look. Kind of there we go. Looks better. So um, again, you're gonna make. I've got three made here, and as you can see, once they're baked, I'm gonna put them. Um, along here or who knows what I'll come up with. I'm going to make a few buds and uh, by making buds you just simply just take about four of the uh, darker ones and do the same thing but just make a smaller, just make the center of the rose instead of all the petals and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the oven and bake them and then I will be back. All right. Before I bake, I wanted to show you how I'm going to do my leaves. Um, I've done the Skinner blend, and if you look that up on uh, Google or YouTube, it'll show you where you take two uh, colors and you create a, um, a blended technique, um, an ombre look, where you go from dark to light. And I used, for my leaves, I used Jungle and granny smith app granny smith green so as you can see here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little polymer clay tool here and i'm going to cut out a leaf 
And I did this, um, I did this setting on a six. So I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm just having fun. As you can see. Now some people create leaf canes and then they they bake and make a slew of them. But for the purpose of this project, and I'll clean these up in a minute. Uh, for the purpose of this project, I'm just showing you a quick way that I'm going to do it. <laughs> And I am working off of a piece of tile I got off of my, um, got at my local hardware store, like Lowe's. Just a, just a regular piece of tile. So you can see. So I'm going to do one up here. And I'm just, I'm just having fun right now. And that's what, when you learn something or you, um, you try something new, you just want to have fun. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this aside. And... Then after that, you can keep these separated or you can blend them all together and make a different color green. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blade here, my blade tool, and I'm going to give it like a, I'm going to try to give it like texture, I don't know. Just playing around with it. Just so like that. Well, that one didn't turn out, so we'll start over. <laughs> See? Okay, I'm going to clean this one up. And what I like about this blade is that you can bend it and curve it. And you can kind of, you know, create leaves and kind of you know form them yourself kind of like that and what I was trying to do earlier was you know how rose leaves have that um, pointy rigid end I don't know. It's not working for me. See, I messed up too, girls. I mess up so many times. You have, you have no idea how many times I mess up. But. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try something else. Where'd my, let's just do, you know, just like a, you know, make little indentations. Kind of clean this up. I'm going to have to watch some more. I think what I'm going to do. Um, on my next round of doing leaves is I'm just going to make a cane to where I can just slice them suckers and go. So, all right. Well, as you see here, I am just going to make some indentations because, again, I'm going to um, really... Um, use these and I'm going to uh, 
vintage them up using some other products but of course they have to be baked and stuff and then as you see here just kind of there we go well I'll just roll this one up and re-roll it and cut it out so you can go back again and cut out another leaf also there are um, little um, little um, pre cookie cutters that do leaf shapes you don't have to be perfect with this if you're not if you don't feel confident um, in fact I don't like do that way you know, but for beginners that have some polymer clay laying around because they bought it because it was something they wanted to try and then they got it stuck in their drawer and they've never pulled it out and they don't have all these little fancy tools and everything, this is the way you would do it. Just old school it. That's <laughs> what I would call it. Do the pow man way. Because <laughs> I don't have all these little fancy tools. Nope, 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 nope. I bought a pasta machine. That's about as fancy as I'm getting with this. But then I don't know. If I was like a crafter, um, if I was a polymer clay artist, I'm sure I would have every tool known to man. So. But for me right now, I don't. So those are a few leaves I've made. Um, and the roses, as you can see here. And again, I'm going to run and bake these and pray that they come out all right. And then I'll come back and we'll start decorating the project. Okay. Okay. Um, they're baked. And I think they come out really pretty. Um, I will say this, I am going to try to perfect my, um, rose making. I mean, these are, they're pretty, they're very pretty, but, you know, I, I'm, a, yourself is your worst critic. So, um, what I want to do is I want to age them up a little bit because they are, if you put them, I mean, they look gorgeous like that, you know, but they're really, really bright and I want to and darken them up and I'm going to use two products um one is Gilder's Paste and this one is black I'm going to try a little black and um here is Antique Gold so again taking a dry brush this is a brush specifically for um dry rubbing things and I'm just going to put a touch of black and I'm going to try it on this rose here. I just want to make it look aged. I don't want it as bright as it is. So I'm just going to brush on here. like that and I'm going to use more of the gold and another thing I noticed with polymer clay and I'm going to look up some more um, tips on it is getting out your fingertips because um, you know it I can see my uh, fingerprints so like I said this is like the first run at this and I want to make these look aged so again I'm just rubbing that now you can use um, Gilder's paste you can use um, rub and buff 
you can also use um, Viva Decor's Inca Gold. There's a lot of products out there. Um, I have used all of them. Um, as far as antique looks, I jump for the Gilders paste because it look it makes it look very um, antique. As you're fixing to see here in just a moment, and as you see, I'm getting in all the crevices and trying to really rub it in there and. And now you can see the difference. See, now it looks more antique. And now it looks more like it's ready to go on my frame. So just get you a little bit of antique gold. Put you a little bit of black in there. More antique gold. Kind of. And just rub it into there like this so but this just shows you how you can make um, your own embellishments when you don't have that perfect embellishment and you want something very unique and very different um, make your own um, Fiona's always showing you how to make uh, all kinds of different embellishments and stuff I make some of my embellishments but I'm the kind of girl that's buy and go you know I mean there are some things I will make like my flowers you know like my cloth flowers or something if I want something very unique I'll make it but if like for pearls I don't make pearls um, I've seen a lot of uh, tutorials on that and um, I don't make you know stuff like that I just assume buy it because honestly I don't want I don't have enough room to um, hold a bunch of stock or anything I'm doing good to hold what I got that I use all the time so but if I can make it and make it affordably and um, I will be I will show you all now see that isn't it gorgeous how it's gilded looking love it just a little bit of black and then a little bit of gold again I'm just going to go ahead and uh, paint this one up I don't know if I'll use it but I did make it so I'm just going to paint it up I'm also going to do the leaves too So, okay, so here are the leaves and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some black. And I want that gilded look to them. Like that. Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is get a craft rag. This is like my junk rag here. It has a little bit of everything on it. I'm going to rub some of that off. Kind of give it a... a gilded look to them. Do that with this one. What I'm doing is, is I'm getting really into those crevices that I created. I 
and just blending these in. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. Okay. And then on this end here, just clean that up. Put a little more gold on that one. Kind of change up the look here. All right, I'm going to do three for right now. And then all right now I'm gonna glue these on using hot glue um, I ran out of my e6000 okay Right, and I'll put, see how that looks. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to put one up there. So I'm going to put my two larger ones There we go Then put one right here Like that. Ah. All right. Put that one there. Oh, now that looks pretty. Okay, up here, again, I guess I'm going to use a couple. I'm going to use the two smaller ones. And... Ah! Some of my Kilder's paste is... My gold here is crumbly. So I'm going to pull the black... No worries, it still works. <laughs> Put a little more black on here. All right. All right. 
make sure I have the right lid on the right jar. Okay, so I'm going to put one up here like that. And just use hot glue like that. Just hold it there. Okay. All right, we'll put one right there and probably put the other one like that. There we go. Now that's gorgeous. And that is really handmade. Yes, yes, yes. Should I put that one? No, I want to keep it odd. You want to keep it one, two, three. So, I don't know. I might use this for something else. Or I might add it to here because I've still got to get some more uh, pieces that I want to hang from here. But this right here is what I really wanted to concentrate on and find something to put on this piece. And I'm going to go back in with some more gold. And just add a little more gold. Just a little more. There we go. I'm going to add a little more adhesive to that flower piece right there. There we go. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think it's coming out gorgeous. So I'll be back. I'm going to clean up my fingers um, and get this off or the best I can. And uh, I'll come back and we'll finish up the project. Okay. What I've done is, is I have taken off some of the chain here and I have made it to where it is five links. One, two, three, four, five on each side, as you see here. And now I took a piece of chipboard um, that measures about how wide I want it. You want it about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch off of each side here. And um, now what I'm going to do is decorate it. So the video is going to speed up um, because I'm really congested and I don't want to talk through it. Um, but it's really self-explanatory. I'm going to decorate the chipboard. Um, I pulled out some words, letters here that spell the word dream. Um, they're different sizes and different fonts. Um, which adds more character. I will cover this with a piece of uh, paper I have here. Um, I will be using the last rows that I made and everything and some other little chosskies that I pull out um, here. In fact, I might go ahead and um, put two pearls with a bead cap on them to hang from here uh, just to give it some more character and if I do that I will take more of this off, um, but all of that will be seen um, in the video. So um, I'm going to get my the rest of my items together, and we're going to finish up this piece.
Okay, you saw how I created the dangles and put them on jump rings and then attached them to the chains that are dangling from this piece. Now, I have glued the word dream um, together. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to the two Lindy's colors that I used. And I'm going to spray um, the Lindy's colors onto the piece here and decorate it to where it looks like uh, the frame and um, so I'm going to dry and do that process so the video is going to speed up. Okay, ladies, I'm just about done. I've attached uh, the bottom piece. You saw how I colored the word dream to match the flowers and the roses. I also went as far as on the top here, I added some larger pearl um, to the chain that matches these pearls here. And the last piece I'm going to add is this um, polymer clay rosebud that I did. And I'm going to put it right there with one leaf that I made as well. Like that. And that, ladies, is it. I think it turned out amazing, and I want to thank you all for stopping by to watch this two-part uh, tutorial. Um, a lot of details and a lot of handmade work went into this. And on the back of it, I know you're going to ask, um, on the back you can use um, white gesso, which is probably what I'll do, or I'll paint it black gesso on the back. And um, then I'll sign it or hang it or whatever I choose to do with it but this is a way to incorporate jewelry into a mixed media piece and also use handmade pieces um, into this and um, at the end of the video of course I'll have detailed photos of it and uh, let me know what you think um, I really like incorporating pearls and 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 different things into my pieces and uh, whenever I have an opportunity to do that um, it all, I think it comes out beautiful so um, let me know if you have any questions about any of the products that I used in this uh, tutorial and I want to thank you all for stopping by and like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, please follow the links below over to my uh, Crafty Peep Society YouTube channel and my Crafts, uh, Craft Society, uh, Crafty Peep Society Facebook group as well, where you can share all of your designs and um, be a part of a great community. And uh, I appreciate everyone, and thank you so much. So stay for photos, and 
Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.